Right. So do you think I could have this come up under your jacket? Wherever. Your lapel? I'm just gonna oh, put it okay. in here. Oh yeah. This is a little beside the point, but this organization kind of got together. This oh, yeah. started in Massachusetts. It's a little bit different. Let's get started. All with the right. Place. So, Put that over here. first, can I get your your first and last name, please? Stephen Poles. Can you spell it for me? S T E P H E N P O W L E S. All right. And Stephen, what brings you to MLK Park today? Oh well, I heard that there was a march for Trump here. So. And um, which side of that march are you standing on right now? I, I want to support our president. Okay. And when opposition comes for you, especially in Berkeley, how do you usually respond to people who don't understand why you'd be here? Oh, well, this is the first time I've actually gone to Berkeley for anything like this. I really don't know what to expect. Okay. I don't know how I react if I've never been in the situation. Really? Have you been to other uh, March for Trumps or at all, or any rallies in support of him? I went to the rally in San Jose. Mm -hmm. And what that was your experience it. there like? Uh, it was pretty scary. scary. Afterwards, it was a lot of chaos. A lot of things were thrown at us. Okay. Rocks, ice, at eggs at us, yeah. Um, got chased, chased away. It was pretty, pretty odd to watch that the police didn't do anything about it and just kind of let them chase us. Okay. So, with um, obvious opposition growing here, um, how do you think that those in support of Trump, including yourself, would respond if, say, Black Bloc or one of the um, other anarchist groups come? Do you guys have a plan at all? Uh, no. I'm not sure who they are. Black, Black Bloc? Oh, well, they're... It doesn't really matter. So... What leads you to support our president with all of the negative stories that are coming out about him? What qualities do you see in him? Well, I saw all the, uh, all the... When you see everybody pointing their finger at the bad guy, or supposedly the bad guy, you know he's making the biggest waves. So I, I just kind of saw that, and I knew that it was something was going to happen. Um, also, I, all the negative things, it's going to make you want to look into it. Like, is this guy really that horrible? I've got to find out about this. And then when I... It just made, opened up, kind of opened the door, made me more curious. The more things, whether it was good or bad, the more I heard about them, the more it made me curious. And the more curious I was, the more I looked for myself. And I saw that a lot of the stuff they said wasn't really true. And I understand, totally understand, why people are getting, uh, getting so emotional over this. Mm -hmm. And I, I, that's, that's what made me say, you know what, the, the, this is the guy. Mm -hmm. So would you consider yourself a Trump supporter? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And as far as bipartisan lines stand, do you see yourself more aligned with him because of the the thing that he stirs up, or is it actual policy that you're interested in? Uh, definitely policy. Definitely mm -hmm. policy. A lot of some, it's kind of personal. Some things that happen. Um, some some people I some people I loved when I was younger that shouldn't things shouldn't have happened to them. And I know that the, if these issues were solved a long time ago, then you know maybe maybe. I'd still have some people in my life that aren't around today. Do you think Trump is the guy to solve it? Well, he's the first person to speak up about it. And to see, to see people get pissed off, the fact that he's bringing up these problems, that just makes me upset. So I'm like, I know I'm not the only person out there who's had a, you know, something terrible happen to a loved one and, and lose them. And the whole to try to just shut it up and let's not talk about it, there's just going to be more victims. And when you say victims, how is how are those victims? How does that correlate to any of Trump's policies? Well, like if he wants to, he wants to solve the, if he, when when he talks about the problems, when he talks about you know open borders and how the people just kind of come on over and and what, what what's the point of the laws? Why why do we have the laws? Well, should we if we're not going to obey the laws, then get rid of the laws or start obeying the laws? So and I think that they're there for our protection, aren't they? I'm if if like I said. Some things wouldn't have happened if the laws were enforced. As far as immigration goes? As far as immigration, And yeah. you believe that Trump, under this new Trump... Um, well, I, I sure hope, I hope he does something. If he doesn't, I'll be disappointed. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. That was great. I really appreciate your time. Um, and I'll just slip that guy under your jacket. There we go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> That was painless. Uh, that was painless. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cut you out. <laughs> I didn't even realize I recorded the whole thing too. <laughs>
that's good. This is what they put on it. This is what I actually said. <laughs> Doesn't look very well organized. No, what time is it? An hour. 